Now in this section we will continue with our discussion on IP version 6 like we have seen some basic introduction on IP version 6 in the previous case. Now here we will try to understand the IPv6 addressing. Uh, how the IPv6 addressing is given. Now IPv6 is a complete 128 bit address which is going to be written in hexadecimal numbering. So hexadecimal means you have some numbering starting from 0 to 9 and then A represents 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So total you got 16 bit addresses or 16 numbers starting from 0 to F. Now this is one sample address. Now here you can see there is one sample address written here. Now the entire IPv6 address is a 128 bit address written in 8 portions. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are total 8 portions and each portion is going to represent 16 bits. Now, which means here you can see this 2001 represents 16 bits. So similar way, each and every portion will be having 16 bits and each and every number, the number here, you can see this number represents four bits in terms of binary. So when I say binary, each number is going to represent four bits. So total, it will be 128 bit. You can see here. So this is how IPv6 has been classified. So the next thing is, IP version 6, again there are two different portions just like we have in IP version 4. The first 64 bits we call them as a global prefix value and the remaining 64 bits we call them as interface ID. Now the global prefix value is more similar to your network portion and the interface ID is more similar to your host portion. Now by default the 64 bits 64 bits but it's not mandatory that you should use 64 bits just like we have a default subnet mask. Here also we got something called default prefix value will be always 64 bits but it's up to you we can even change that the next thing we can even make our ipv6 address to make it a little bit shorter by by reducing the number of zeros into one zero like this so let, let us see here now 2001 we cannot make it as 21 so it has to be 2001 but if you have a zero db8 now we can simply write as db8 so let's say if you have zero zero one then we can simply write as 1 because anyway 1 is going to represent 0, 0, 0, 1, whatever it is. Because total there are 4 portions. Now if I just write 1, which means the device will automatically understand that it is 0, 0, 0, 1. So in that way, you can ignore the before zeros, no need to write. And then if you have all 0 portions, then you can make it as single 0. Similar way, if you have all 0 portions, you can make it as single 0. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, we cannot make it as, uh, make it short, so it has to be 1, 2, 3, 4 only. And similar way, you can see all zeros, you can make it as 1, 0, and all zeros, you can write it as 1, 0, and then finally 3, C, 40. Now either you write your IPv6 address in this format or in this format, both are correct. Now similar way, if you have a continuous zero portion, let's say you got one zero portion, or you may have two zero portions, or you may have three zero portions, up to you have seven zero portions. So continuous zero portions can be written as simply double colon. Now double colon is going to represent a continuous zero portion, which means here you can see I have a double colon, I have a zero zero. Now zero zero, I'm going to write it as a double colon. Now similar way, I have a zero zero here, I'm going to write it as double colon. So don't think that if you have two zero portions, you have to write two colons, three zero portions, three colons, it's not like that. So whatever the number of zero portions you have, you need to just write as double column. So even if you have seven zero portions, like zero, 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 like this, we just write it as double column. Now, now continuous zero portions, you can just simply write as double column. Now here also I got a continuous zero portion, so I'm going to write as double column. But this is statement is wrong because the double column is not allowed in more than one place in the same IPv6 address. Now, if you try to see here, uh, let's say if I if I if I even even if I come with uh, this address here, 2001, DB8, uh, some colons, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, and from 3, C, 40 here. So I can see 1, 2, 3, 4 portions I can see here very clearly. Now, the entire IPv6 address is having 8 portions, right? And each portion is going to have 16 bits. So I'm not able to see the remaining four portions. So now the device is going to assume these remaining four portions are in the form of zeros in these both the places. 
Now the device may assume that there are two zero portions here or two zero portions here or the device may assume that there is one zero portion here or three zero portions here or the device may assume that there are three zero portions on one side and one zero portion on the other side. So there, there will be a, it is going to create a confusion in our mind as well as the device. So that's the reason if you have any place if you if you come across a scenario where you you may need to use double colon on both the sides or zero portions on both the sides continuous in that case you are only allowed to use double colon in any one of the place whereas in the other place we we just write it as zero colon zero so now it will be very clear like you can see one portion two portions three four five and six so six portions i can see very clearly and which means there are remaining two portions or are in the form of zeros where we are representing double colon. So this is the way we can make our IPv6 addresses to look much shorter. We can ignore the continuous zeros into single zero and you can continuous zeros can be also written as double colon. But one thing we need to keep in mind this double colon is not allowed in more than one place in the same IPv6 address.